Hey guys, Adam Middlesworth here and welcome to day two of the complete guide to Facebook advertising. In today's video, I'm going to go over the Facebook ad types, what objectives, why you would need to run specific objectives to reach a certain goal, and what you can use uh, in your very first ad to generate leads, generate traffic, generate brand awareness, generate likes for your page, whatever your goal is, right? So we're going to dive right in here. I went to Facebook ads slash manager, um, excuse me, Facebook ads.com slash ads slash manager. Uh, and then I just created another ad. This is the very first thing you should see. If you want to do switch to quick creation, you can. Uh, that's a little bit more uh, confusing. I would go and switch. If you see this, switch to guided creation because it's just easier. Right? So on this very first page, what you see is all of the marketing objectives at your disposal, right? So you can create brand awareness, you can create reach, you can go through traffic, engagement, app installs, video views, lead generation, messages, conversions, catalog sales, store visits. And at this point, you're like, what in the world? Which one do I choose? Uh, and so I'm going to go over all of the ones that we use for our real estate and loan officer clients, as well as the ones that we use for ourselves most often, and what, kind of what part in the funnel do you use specific objectives, right? So brand awareness is obviously super simple. You can hover over these and see what Facebook uh, thinks of this. So they say increase awareness for your brand by reaching people who are more likely to be interested in it. So what you can do is if you're looking for brand awareness, then you can choose that objective. If you want to go for reach, that's going to show your, your ad to the maximum number of people. So if you've got a listing in your area and you want it to show to everybody in your area, you don't really care who, you just want it to be shown everywhere, right? Then you're going to choose reach there. On the next side of things, you're going to choose traffic and traffic is essentially uh, sending more people to your website or to a landing page uh, or through your app or through a messenger conversation. The next would be engagement, so basically getting page likes, getting responses, essentially, right? Getting likes on that, that page post, getting shares on that post, getting comments on that post. That's really beneficial if you want to show um, proof, right? If Social proof is really key in Facebook advertising and, and really anywhere. Um, so if you've got a lot of people commenting, liking, and sharing it, then it's going to be uh, more likely to be shown to people, right? And then app installs, you've got that. If you have a mobile application, then you can get more people to install your app. Video views, huge, right? If you, if you feel comfortable on camera and you want to get the most amount of people to watch your videos, then you can actually uh, choose that objective so that Facebook knows, okay, he wants people, he or she wants people to watch these videos, right? And then you can choose lead generation to drive more sales, leads um, into your business. And you can even do some customized stuff in there. And then messages, if you just want people to get more people messaging your business, you can do that. And then conversions is essentially uh, a version of lead generation. If you have a landing page software or if you have a, a website and that converts them to another page, you would use conversions. What here you're looking to, again, drive sales, um, drive leads into your business. And then if you got catalog sales, you can do, if like if you do e-com, you can do something like this. Uh, or if you just want people to show up to your brick and mortar, right? If you've got a, a local business, you can do this. Now what we do the most, uh, we target five different of these options the most. So number one would be we drive traffic. Um, we do this probably the least out of all of them, uh, but it's it's really testing out and finding what works best for, for you, your business. And sometimes if you're using conversions and it's working really well and then it stops working, you can try traffic out just to see if that's going to help, right? To try to get the most amount of clicks. And sometimes that leads to a lower cost per lead, All right? And we use engagement as well. Now, engagement is really cool because you can start with an engagement post try to get a lot of social proof on that post. And then what you can do is use that page post ID and then do a conversion ad off of that. So that's a little bit of a more advanced strategy, obviously, uh, but that's something that we use engagement for. 
And then video views, obviously we're going to shoot videos if you have a real estate agent. Uh, if you're a real estate agent and you feel comfortable on video, that can be really cool. And then you can do some really cool retargeting from people who watch that to another ad. And then lead generation is probably the one that we use the most. Lead generation and conversions are probably the ones that we use most often, right? Um, lead generation, obviously, if you've got a listing, if you've got a loan program, um, you're going to use lead generation because you want name, email, and phone number, right? That's the easiest way to drive leads. Right now, it's the most inexpensive, but again, you can always test and find out. And then lastly, we do use conversions quite a bit with landing pages and thank you pages to drive leads into our business. The last one that we use sparingly and mostly on the retargeting, remarketing side of things is straight to Messenger. So if we already have their name, email, and phone number from either a lead generation or a conversions campaign, then we can retarget them to a Messenger ad, uh, which it's a little bit more complicated. In future videos, I'll come up with how to do a JSON ad. Um, but that is through the retargeting side of things. So that's kind of an overview of all the Facebook ad types. I know I went fast, um, but that is kind of an overview of what we use, how we use it, how we kind of test and use you know, engagement to go to conversions or how we use video views to then go to lead generation. Uh, it's all through uh, you know, basically retargeting and making sure that we are using the objectives that we want in the uh, correct order that we want, right? So we wouldn't do, you know, uh, messages right out of the gate. Uh, most oftentimes, we, we, you probably could, um, and that's something that we should test and find out. Uh, but most often, we do lead generation conversions right out of the gate. Sometimes we do engagement right out of the gate as well. All right, guys, so in the next video tomorrow, is how to create your very first successful Facebook ad. And we're going to go over some of these things um, and how you choose your objective for that ad. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure that you subscribe. Click on the bell so that you get notified of the next video. And I look forward to seeing you in that next video.